All right. We're about 10 minutes out from June 2022 uh, State of Play. That's kind of like a Sony Direct if you don't know what a State of Play is. They're just going to reveal some stuff. And I can't see how this is ever going to replace E3. Frankly, I'm totally underwhelmed and I'm not hyped up at all. And hopefully my disappointment will not be immeasurable. Um, let's hope we see Final Fantasy 16. Let's hope we see details on some cool games maybe coming to the new PlayStation Plus tiers. And uh, let's hope we see Final Fantasy 7 Remake Part 2. Maybe we get some surprises. Let's just hope that this state of play is not a complete disappointment like pretty much every other state of play. I'm starting to get disillusioned with the state of play. I'm starting to get bored of them. They're just kind of going by and it's just kind of ho-hum and nothing interesting's happening. So, prove me wrong, Sony. I'm ready to see something interesting. Uh, maybe we're going to get some new exclusives. Maybe we're going to get some good looking remakes, maybe. Maybe some old franchises are coming back. I've heard all kinds of rumors. I've heard so many Silent Hill rumors that I just want to explode. Um, you know, people I think are really overhyped about this idea of Silent Hill coming back, regardless of who's doing it. Remember, it's important that, that Team Silent does it, okay? Team Silent made the good Silent Hill games, and then there was a lot of bad ones, and people like to sweep those under the rug, so keep expectations in check for Silent Hill if it does show up. I've heard rumors of new Blue Point projects, that being a remake of Metal Gear Solid 1. I don't know if I believe that. Um, probably lots more things coming to PC. For those of you who don't own a PlayStation system, you're, you're going to be happy over that. Uh, yeah. Maybe we're going to see more information on uh, that Harry Potter game, maybe. Uh, I'm not too interested in that, but it looks kind of cool, I guess. Uh, hopefully we're going to get a release date for Stray. That was one of the first PS5 games I saw that I was kind of interested in playing. When the PS5 was revealed, they kind of announced it along with this game called Stray, where you play as a cat. And, uh, yeah, I am kind of interested in trying that. So hopefully we can get a release date trailer for that. With that being said, let's just take a breather and wait to see what happens. Here's, here's something interesting. What's the worst case scenario here? You know, worst case scenario, we just get a bunch of very bad looking indie games. We get uh, price hikes. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, we reveal that um, basically everything's coming to PC. I know people don't want to hear that, but exclusives exist for a reason. Um, Nintendo knows it. Sony used to kind of understand it. Microsoft never seemed to understand it, but now everything is available on everything. Like Microsoft, everything they make is available on PC, it's available on whatever piece of hardware you might have, apart from the Nintendo and Sony consoles. You know, what do you think about that? Is that a good thing? I don't know. I'm not in the mood for a big, nasty, cinematic walking game. That's announced three years too early. I don't need any more announcements that are like three years plus before the game comes out. Uh, it's funny to see Final Fantasy 16 get announced with a like a gameplay trailer, and then take this long to have any more information. Especially when the developers were saying that we wanted to avoid a situation where people would think the game was never coming out, so they specifically put together a gameplay trailer. That's really funny to me, considering it's been like two years or something, with nothing. Um, when Square Enix is afraid of things taking time, you know you're in for a, a long haul. Hmm, what is it? What do you want? How long is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be like 20 minutes. I've been in the mood for a long one. I'm in the reveal mood, it's June, so I'm in the, you know, I'm in the E3 mindset, like I'm looking for, you know, exciting, long uh, presentations, you know, 
not in the mood for a million tiny ones. I know E3 is dead. I have a sinking suspicion that it's never coming back. How long has it been now without an E3? Like, when was the last one? 2019? I know we missed 2020, 2021, and now we're missing 2022. So this will be the third missed E3. Think about that. How crazy that is, you know. Could you have imagined that 10 years ago? Going without E3? It felt like it was such an important time for people in video games, you know. Like, it was like Christmas, and then it's just, it's just gone. They took it away, you know. Oh, well, there's always next year, right, buddy? Yeah, well, I don't know. They probably discovered that you just don't need it. Nintendo discovered that you didn't really need E3 years ago. They just started doing their own Nintendo Direct around E3 time. And as it turned out, you just didn't, you know, you just didn't need E3. It's sad, but... That's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way the pan flashes. That's the way the teeth gnashes. 30 seconds. 30 seconds to lift off. We're now on internal power. We're 5x5 five five in the pipe. We're green across the board. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Go for main engine start. Three, two, one, zero. Lift off. We've cleared the tower. Okay. PS5 time. March 24th. 2023, what is this? R. Is this like the next gen remake of Red Dead Redemption they were talking about? Resident Evil 4. Oh my god, that's what we're starting with? Resident Evil 4? Holy shit, Sony got this. In their state of play. Holy crap. That's huge. I know this game is huge. Right? I'm not big on it, but... You will receive our most sacred body. It begins now. The game that never dies. Yeah, this game has to be different. <laughs> Capcom, PS5, is it? That's not exclusive, is it? Oh my god, VR shit's coming to it. Okay. State of play returns, and we've got some great PlayStation updates to Not a bad way to start it, I must say. Resident Evil 4, coming to PS5 with PlayStation VR 2 content also in development. Now let's get a sneak peek at four games in development for PlayStation VR 2. Ah, now, let's take a look at them. Well, well, Ethan Winter, you escaped my little brother's... I guess this makes logical sense, that, uh... <laughs> 
Resident Evil 8 would come to VR too after 7 was on VR, right? Audacity to question me. You, who emerged from the putrid waters of the Bayou to plunder our righteous gains and cut our throats like a demon in the night. What have you done to ensure the future of this forsaken city? You, who have brought nothing but chaos. When death was swallowing this city whole, it was I who resurrected it. It was I who shined as a beacon of hope for all. The tower cries out for blood, and I vow to stir it. When the bells ring, the song they sing will be righteous. I don't know. I don't know anything about Walking Dead. I'm kind of sitting alive, though. I'm sitting live through this entire presentation. Is this No Man's Sky? I think it is. Guys, it's Fable. Oh, no, it's not. Fable has come to PlayStation somehow. No, this is some kind of Horizon thing. Man, they're really going in hard with the VR stuff, eh? They really want to sell the VR, too. For a PlayStation 5. Redemption is still possible, Raya. Climb the mountain. Find out why the machines are attacking. Take all your wits, your skills, and courage. You have walked in the shadows, Reyes. Now it is time to climb. 
Horizon VR called the Mountain. What's a Mountain? Is that Mountain there? Help me, I'm getting eaten by Mountain. Hi, I'm Ben McCaw, Narrative Director at Guerrilla. I hope you enjoyed your first look at Horizon Call of the Mountain, coming exclusively to PlayStation VR 2. We're also happy to announce that a big update to Horizon Forbidden West, including New Game Plus, will be available to download on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 today. That's nice for people who are who've already played that game maybe and have it right now. I always like when things get announced and then they're saying it's coming out today. Details on this free update, please check out PlayStation Blog. From all of us at Guerrilla, thank you for your continued support, and please stay tuned for more updates to come. And thank you for not wasting a lot of my time. Thank you for just going away. Get ready, a PlayStation fan favorite is coming to PC. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> Get ready, guys, a PlayStation fan favorite is coming to PC. Sacrificing so much and Spider-Man's coming to PC. You can make the hardest decisions. You really need two of those? You are everything that's wrong with this city. I'm gonna go. Uh, do your thing. You can't just push people around like that. Just ask for help next time. Time to bring back the glory cave. I guess people that never had a PS4 or a PS5 have been waiting a long time to play this. You know. What was this, like, three years ago this game came out? Stray! Stray! This is what I said! I said I talked about Stray! Before this, before I watched this, here we go. Finally. Look at this. July 19th. It's right around the corner. Thank you. I got something I wanted. Explore a mysterious cyber city in Stray. Coming to PS5 and PS4 July 19th. PlayStation Plus extra members and higher can download Stray at no extra cost when it launches next month. Up next, three games that will get your heart racing. Three racing games? Is that what this is? Oh, Crafton. Okay, yeah. This was announced forever ago, I think. Take a look outside. Did you know that they call Callisto the Dead Moon? Callisto Protocol or something? Just like you would have been if I hadn't fished you out of that wreck. So whatever you're holding on to right there, that's your old life. You gotta let that go.
me chills every time. Okay. This the state of play is strong so far. Okay, yeah. Private division. What is this? There will only be the victorious and the dead. Dude, it's Tony Hawk's pro shooter. <laughs> this looks cool. <laughs> Seems kind of nifty, not gonna lie. I wonder if things will ever be normal again. What is this? Uh oh. They got a date up in the corner there. Is this some kind of. Persona hack and slash. What is this? The world hasn't ended yet. It's not hopeless. It's SMT May Cry. Yay. Don't you want science in your corner? Eternites. Hmm. All right. Action games and dating sims collide in Eternites, coming to PS5 and PS4 next year. Let's check back in with Capcom for a new look at an upcoming heavy hitter. Monster Hunter. No. Street Fighter 6. Yep. When you go looking for strength, it's not like a game. This journey doesn't have a real ending. Okay then, hope you're ready to begin. If you 
want to start off on the right foot in this city. Hit the streets. Yeah, hey there, I do this. Never fear lose. And when I get up in the game, y'all can't improve. A real prowler, but I saw them on Facebook. And if you think I'm going forward, then you told me fool. Yeah, y'all want to win and we spin, boy. I done some side, I'm super fly like I'm hanging off the What the hell is this? Wait a minute. Box heads? Is this like the at least like the random guys who just fight in this weird story mode? Box people? What is this? Let me have some fun. Ready? Then show me. This will be a good fight. Well, at least it looks different. You know, Street Fighter V looks so much like Street Fighter IV. This one's kind of got some different things going on. Oh, they changed up the logo a little bit. Thank God. That sound. I heard that little jingle. Uh, I'm gonna need more on that. What was all those things I just saw? First look at Street Fighter 6 gameplay. Mark your calendars. It comes to PS5 and PS4 in 2023. Now it's time for two indie adventures arriving later this year. Tonic. Feels like that game has been out forever. Why do I think that? She set out to record life at the end of the well, that. To make it real for people in the future. Mm -hmm. She asked us about living together. And we asked her about traveling alone. When the season turns, what will remain? Only what she saw. What she captured. Hmm? She carries the sounds of the season with her. Oh my god, Siren Head, watch out. Oh, is there some kind of mysterious plot to this? Is it going? Is it gone? Not yet. Is 
season. A letter to the future. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, whatever. Come on, show the trailer. Let's go. Come on. The longer this goes, the more they're going to say sorry. We can't show it. Then. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I was starting to get scared there. It's, starting to, it's like they're prepping you for not having the trailer there, the way they're talking. Okay. Oh, is that Odin? What? There will be losses, it is true. Yet for every citizen who falls, another can be bred. Every home that burns, another can be built. The Empire will live on. Summer 2023. Ah, oh, God dang it. Another year. Okay. Okay, well, you know what? That's one of the better states of play. The better state of plays I've seen in a while, I must say. They brought out the big guns. We got Stray, we got RE4, we got Final Fantasy 16 stuff, and so on. Uh, it didn't feel like a waste of time like most of these state of plays. So, thank you, Sony. Uh, but I'm not happy about that. <sighs> Waiting another year, another calendar year for Final Fantasy 16, and nothing on 7 Remake Part 2. Maybe Square Enix is saving that stuff for like later this month. Since it is reveal season. But overall, I wasn't extremely disappointed. I'm probably going to go 7 out of 10 on this one. I had a few smiles. And not a lot of horrible stuff. So it wasn't absolutely offensive. So there's that. But I gotta wait. Commence the waiting. <laughs>